Opti Coach is back. Hello, I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today I'm going to step back and cover something that I mentioned a couple videos ago, and that is the importance of understanding the relationship between increasing plus powers and the shortening focal length of a lens. This is a really good foundation to start building your dispensing troubleshooting superpowers. <laughs> You're going to find this in any set of glasses that is designed to correct your hyperopic refractive errors and all of your glasses that are designed to correct your hyperopic refractive errors that also include an ad. Whew. All right, really big picture concept here, but so, so important. We're not doing the focal length formula here. We're not gonna be crunching any numbers. We're not gonna be breaking out the calculator. This is a big picture concept that you so much need to have in your head. And right after I run through this, I'll give you some telltale signs of what to listen for and what to look for for this scenario. Normal everyday power range for an ad power. If you just made up a single vision reader or a cheater of these and spheres, put them on. This would work just if you did it for yourself. The power of a plus 125, the focal length of that lens, where the rays of light would gather, where things would be clear, 0.8 meters, almost two and a half feet away. Comfortable reading. Notice how quickly this changes from a 125 to a 250. How quickly we go from here to here. That's the concept. Now, imagine if you have these simple ad powers, which are so common, everybody out there is wearing them, is over 42 or 45. Now imagine if their distance prescription is plus, and then you're throwing the ad power of plus. Imagine what's happening to the focal length of that lens. Super, super important concept. Just a big picture thing, you must grasp, you must be looking for it. And here are some telltale signs, language, and things you might wanna look for to tell you that that's what's going on. Why did I decide to dress up as coach again today? Well, this is a coaching session. Big picture concept that will help you, especially the person that's new to all of this, troubleshooting at dispensing. And this is probably one of the very best places to start. We're talking about plus power, either as an ad as a standalone or a combination with a plus distance power. And what happens when that focal length shortens, shortens, shortens when you're putting a pair of glasses on someone? Maybe they've been gone for a week, they come back and say, you know, something's just not right. Or you've just dispensed that new pair of glasses with that new higher ad power. Here are some things to watch for and listen for that'll tell you that that's what the problem is. Watch for their hold position. It's a beautiful, nice uh, integrity reading card from Laramie K. And if you'd ask them to put them on, put on their glasses, they should be for reading normal. They should be right about here, right? Well, watch. And if they're here, that's not a good thing. What happened? This focal length is shortened too much. They've got to bring this in too close to read. Watch for the old twisting arm, okay? If you see the person, maybe you stepped away for a second, they put their glasses on, or you're walking by and watching somebody else and they're doing one of these. Okay, the old twisting arm, pretty good clue that they might be a little bit overplussed. Watch for body movement. If they're at a desk looking at a computer and they, you know, wheel in their chair back and forth, trying to get that focal length that works for them. Watch for body movement. Watch for head movement. Watch for the old bobbing. Okay. Good indication. If they end up getting close, bringing the object closer, moving themselves closer, probably overplussed a little. Listen for, I mean, classic perfect thing is, you know, I have to hold this too close now. Hard to see. I'm just having trouble focusing. These things aren't working like they're supposed to. They're uncomfortable. Uh, sometimes you'll even get the old headache that's kind of rare, but um, overplussed can give you that uncomfortable, you know, having an adaptation problem that can certainly be a cause of it. You can over minus somebody and they stay pretty darned happy. 
kind of the exact opposite for plus. It doesn't take a lot of overplus before someone becomes uncomfortable. The old not like my old pair. If you're sitting at the dispensing table and they're taking off the new pair and putting on the old, taking off the old, putting on the new, doing that back and forth comparison, making your life completely and totally crazy, might be another sign to look again at those plus powers. This is a huge, really, really big picture concept, but it is so important to start building your dispensing troubleshooting powers. And we'll get into a whole lot more of this in other videos. One other little piece that I'd like to put into the back of your head, which is closely related to this, there is one perfect, absolute, constant, mathematically perfect thing, and that is as your ad power goes up in a progressive lens, so does the distortion throughout the entire lens. Put that in there too. Never forget it. Every single time you see that ad increase in progressives, every time that changes every couple of years with that same customer, same design, same frame, everything else, and they're saying not as good, not as sharp, that's the reason why. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you found that helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. Please feel free to leave me a message. Be sure to share this with others and make absolutely sure that all of your uncut lenses come from Laramie K. Super Opic Refractive Birds. Any of your hyper for any of the lens, any lens that is built to